Start and finish of the 5K 10 mile Rio Bravo race is right here, right next to the offices. Canyon's over there. You head up this road for about a quarter mile and then turn right and head to the creek. About a quarter mile in, you take this right hand turn, five mile and 10 mile both, and go downhill and we'll eventually be going over to the bridge where the creek crossing is. Once again, quarter mile, veer off to the right, go downhill. A kilometer into the Rio Bravo 10 mile 5K, we get to the creek. As you can see, the creek isn't very much this year compared to other years. Just this narrow bit of water. If you go off to the right here, you can actually step on those rocks. And not get a mile, wet. you have to go across that small creek, but then unfortunately, we have this standing water, and this water's pretty gross. I highly recommend going off to the right here. I cleared out the uh, debris, and you can make it. It's not too gooey. So that's the way to go. Or you can run through this, but that's pretty gross. As you can tell, it's starting to rain out here a little Three bit. Three quarters of a mile in. Nice puddle before we hit the hill. Before the mile mark, we have to come up this hill. Check out the beautiful scenery off to the right if you can. It's only about a tenth of a mile to the top. At the top of the first hill before the mile, as I said before, the 5K and 10 mile are doing the first three miles together. First three miles is an out and back. The 5K course is exactly like it's been for the past few years. You come up the top of the hill, you hang a left. Don't go right. Big arrow. And head down and follow this fence line and the dirt road to the bridge. One mile mark right here for both the 5K and the 10 mile. It's about in between the hill and to the bridge. The hill, you ran mile. down and you come here and you're going to go across the bridge. And we're just going to go head towards the canyon, straight out on this dirt road, and you're going to just turn around in about four tenths of a mile, 5K and 10 mile, and then we're just going to come back where we came from. The view from the bridge, about 1.2 miles in, as you can tell, the creek is very limited. But you do have that muddy water that you don't want to run through. And we just head in this way to turn around. Bit, you can see that first hill just before the mile mark. You ran along that plateau. You come, you go across this bridge. You get on this dirt road and just run alongside the orchards for another quarter mile. Where the 5K and 10 mile turn around to head back to the start finish area. This is the turnaround for both the 5K and the 10 miler. Both races will be doing the same first three miles. And then you're just going to head back. So it's just a little past the Rio Bravo start finish area is the turnaround for 5K and the 10K. I mean the 10 mile. Okay, you went back across the creek, came up this road. 5K and 10K, 10 mile are still together until this point. 2.8 miles, 5K goes off to the left and finishes. The 10 mile goes off to the right. And we'll be following orange flags for an out and back seven mile part of the course. So we will be going that way. See that ridge, big ridge there? We're actually gonna go in the valley right in front of that big ridge. This gate coming up will be unlocked race day. And it is about the three mile mark of the 10 mile race. Go through the gate, then run over to the concrete building thing. And then we got a hill there. And then we're gonna go up through that valley that's in front of that big ridge line that's got the power lines and stuff on it. Concrete structure is about the 5K mark of the 10 mile course. We keep going uphill here. And you can see that ridge line off in the distance. We don't go up that, we go through the valley. It's between that ridge line and the other ridge line. And you'll be going up that for another couple miles. Three and a quarter miles into the race. Those are the Cliffs of Diaz. You'll be going off to the left and you see that fire road. And that fire road connects us to that valley that's over there. And that's what you'll be going up and out and back on. You do not go right where the cliffs are. You go left. Watch the flag. Those are the Diaz Cliffs. And you go up this fire road that'll lead us to that valley that's between these two hills. Only about 3.3 miles. 0.5 miles about. Came up the Cliffs of Diaz Hill. 
gonna go up this fire road and the fire road's gonna take us up and through this valley where we're going up a couple miles and then turn around and then head back to the start finish here. View from the top of the Cliffs of Diaz only about three and a half miles in short sharp hill and then you get to go up through this valley 0.7 miles came up that fire road from the Cliffs of Diaz come up here and you're gonna go through and then you're just gonna be on the lower trail run along this fence line for another mile or two and then we turn around and come back on the Rio Bravo about 10 miles. Four miles in, just when you're going up, in fact you go up about 800 feet in three or four miles of this run. The good thing is you get to go down 800 feet. 0.1 miles in, you go up this and you're gonna go veering off to the left. We end up having to go up to about 6.5 miles up and then you get to turn around and it's three and a half miles back down to the finish on the Rio Bravo 10 miler. About 4.8 miles into the Rio Bravo 10 miler, you come up to the water tank. Like I said, this is an uphill all the way till the turn around, then you're just gonna come screaming down this road. 4.8 miles, Rio Bravo 10 miler. Mile rock here on the Rio Bravo 10 mile. Still gonna go up this valley for about another mile and a half. Then coming up the valley this way. See that trail there? We saw a cow and it's cap going all the way up to the top there so at least you don't have to do that so heading this way for another mile and a half a little past five miles is horse skull so gonna go about a mile and a half up this valley already come up a couple miles up the valley so this is about halfway point well, some races have Gatorade Rio Bravo 10 miler has Cowade if it was hot it might be worth jumping into that just a little past the skull at 5.2 miles is Cow Aid Station. Cow patties make good flag stands here on the Rio Bravo 10 mile, about 5.3 miles. Still heading up this valley for about another mile, just past Cow Aid. Had about five and a half miles on the Rio Bravo 10 mile course. This is the seven mile out and back section after you've done the 5K part of the course. And coming up through this valley, about another mile up the valley and then we turn around and come screaming downhill back to the finish line at six miles in the Rio Bravo 10 mile run almost ready to turn around as you can tell the valley starts to narrow through here and we just have to go another couple tenths of a mile to get the turn around then it will be 3.7 miles back to the finish line most of it all downhill the Rio Bravo 10 mile six miles is a little bit down there this is going to be the turnaround mainly because it's a natural place to turn around. There's a fire road with the fence line going that way, which I'm sure nobody wants to go do. So this is going to be the Rio Bravo 10 mile turnaround, and it should be pretty close to 10 miles when I get back to the start finish area. Bravo 10 mile turnaround fence, a little past six miles into the course. You ended up climbing 800 feet from mile three of the course. When you get to this turn around, if you really want, you could go up that big old hill along the fence line and go for 20 or 30 probably. But turn around, head back down where you came from. Watch out for the runners coming up. Heading down from the turnaround up there for the Rio Bravo 10 miler. When you get back down here to the water tank and the cow aid station, it's about mile seven. So you have three miles to go from the turnaround back down to the start. The finish area is an 800 foot drop. So you can make some time up coming down if you didn't kill yourself going up. On the way back, Lone Tree is about 7.5 miles, so only two and a half miles to the finish. Coming back down the valley, all the way back down, hopefully tomorrow, it won't be so wet. So like I said, from here, about two and a half miles, and then you're done. At 7.8 miles in, heading downhill to the finish of the Rio Bravo 10 miler, it's just me, and you can see those cows way up on top of the hill. Grass must be greener up there. Fortunately, you don't have to run up on those big hills. You just had to run up this beautiful valley. The Rio Bravo 10 miler. Turn around for the Rio Bravo 10 miler was up there about two miles ago. About eight and a half miles here. It's only a mile and a half left to get to the start finish line of the Rio Bravo 10 mile. I have to go through this gate area here. Just follow the flags back to where you came. About 8.8 .8 miles now. Have to turn around there at six and a half miles up on the 
this valley comes down that hill, about an 800 foot drop. Well, 700 because you got to go down the Diaz cliffs. And there is the finish line, the Rio Bravo offices for the Rio Bravo 10 miler. So about a mile and a quarter to there. Or a 2K. The Diaz Cliff Hills. Uh, about mile nine, so about last mile down almost. Of course, it's about mile four when you're heading out. Probably the hardest uh, climb in the whole Rio Bravo 10 miler. You pass the bunker for the second time in the Rio Bravo 10 miler. You only have about a mile to go before it was the uh, 5K mark. But now, just running back to the start finish area. Less than a mile in the Rio Bravo 10 miler. Under a mile to go at the Rio Bravo 10 miler. There's the gate fence that hopefully will be unlocked tomorrow. This uh, got a lot bigger in the past hour or two since I passed through before. Hopefully it stops raining sometime today. We're at the intersection where the 5K went to the left and went to the finish, and the 10 mile went to the right, went up and through that valley to about six and a half mile point and then turned around and came back here and now we'll be finishing the Rio Bravo 10 mile.